governments around the world consider energy security a priority to power their industries, businesses, homes, and offices. But there are little energy sources and the technology to harness renewables is still decades away from wider adoption. Nuclear power is becoming portable in the form of relatively light and cost-effective micro-reactors. A team of ex-SpaceX engineers is developing the world's first portable zero-emissions power source that can power remote areas and also enables rapid installation of new units in populated areas. In today's video, we'll talk about SpaceX's new nuclear reactor. But before that, make sure you press that red subscribe button along with that tiny bell icon to get updated every time we post new videos. Let's get started. SpaceX has built some crazy machines over the years, but apparently, for some SpaceX engineers, revolutionizing space isn't enough. They split up and formed a new startup, Radiant. They promised to revolutionize portable and sustainable energy with innovative space-grade nuclear micro-reactors. Last year, the SpaceX team secured $1.2 million in angel investor funding for their startup, Radiant, to help them develop their portable nuclear micro-reactors, intended for commercial and military applications. This California-based startup has raised funds to develop a portable nuclear reactor that can fit in a shipping container. It's a 1-megawatt nuclear reactor and can be used to power more than 1,000 homes. These nuclear reactors are intended to power homes in remote communities, disaster areas, and bases. Radiant founder and CEO Doug Bernauer is a former SpaceX engineer who worked on developing power sources for a future Mars colony during his time at the private space company. During his research on micro-reactors for Mars, he saw an opportunity to develop a flexible and affordable power source here on Earth, which led him to found Radiant with two other SpaceX engineers. Diesel has long been the fuel of choice for running generators in areas far from a traditional power grid. This poses both logistical challenges and environmental concerns. Fuel transportation is another big problem. Radiant's micro-reactor has the potential to improve the power generation process. The nuclear reactors developed by Radiant use helium instead of water for cooling. This method, according to the company, significantly reduces the risk of corrosion, boiling, and contamination. The particulate fuel used in these reactors is non-melting according to Radiant and is also said to be able to withstand higher temperatures than traditional nuclear fuels. The company is also working on ways to power the reactors and efficiently transport heat out of their reactor core. This technology should allow residents of remote and disaster-affected areas to have quick access to electricity according to their needs. Micro-reactors can be remotely monitored and centralized replenishment maintenance enables microgrids without any permanent impact. The use of nuclear reactors to generate electricity can help reduce the emissions produced by diesel generators. It would also reduce the need for trucks to transport fuel for these generators. While the need for trucks would still exist to transport nuclear reactors, the dependency should be much less. Portability itself is an important factor here, as it would help electricity to reach remote areas easily. Several countries are developing small nuclear reactors, including NASA, which makes one the size of a garbage can. According to the World Nuclear Association, small nuclear reactors are practical because they can be built efficiently in a controlled factory. Their small size and security features also allow them to be loaned to countries with smaller networks. It can also make financing easier compared to large nuclear power plants. If all goes well with Radiant's test campaign, nuclear power could soon hit the streets. In doing so, it'll help bringing electricity to countless remote communities and further bolster the resurgence of nuclear power in a world that needs clean energy solutions now more than ever. So that's all for today's video. Let us know your views in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.